Divine Guidance Learn how to know Yah's will for you individually. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it, whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21, New King James Version. Living through Earth's final crisis is going to require a closer, more vital connection with the Heavenly Father than has been experienced since apostolic times. Each believer needs personal guidance because each individual situation is so different. This requires not only a personal relationship with the Father, but the ability to hear and recognize His voice when He speaks to you. Be specific. The first thing to do to learn Yah's will for your life is simply to ask for guidance. When you pray, pray very specifically. Claim promises that apply to your situation. The more specific you are when you pray, the more specific will be your answers. Many believers make the mistake of making vague, open-ended requests because they are afraid of asking for the wrong thing. Do not let this keep you from praying very specifically. As long as you surrender your will to the Father's, saying, Not my will, but thine be done, you can pray as specifically as your salutation warrants. Specific requests get specific responses. Exercise faith. Do not confuse your feelings with faith. The two are completely separate. Faith is simply believing Yahweh's word is true without needing any other evidence. James tells us, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of Yah, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. James chapter 1, verses 5 to 6, King James Version. Learn to listen. People needing guidance often want a divine dream or vision. However, this is not Yah's typical method of communication. You do not need to hear an audible voice, but you do need to listen. Believers are often afraid to listen to their hearts, but don't be. The most common way Yahweh speaks to his children is through that still, small voice within. His voice in your heart will never lead you astray or tell you to do wrong. Learn to pay attention to the soft, gentle promptings of His Spirit. As you do, that soft voice will grow louder and easier to discern. Another way to learn Yahweh's will is through the words of Scripture. Pray and ask a very specific question. Ask only one question at a time. Then open your Bible anywhere and read several pages. You may have to do this for many days, but when Yahweh speaks to you, you will know it. The words will leap from the page and your mind will be impressed that this is his answer to you. Your answer may not always come from the words of Scripture. Be aware of the words of others as well. When words are vibrated home to your mind, you will know with utter assurance they are meant for you. There will be no doubt. That is the Holy Spirit impressing you that this is the answer to your question. So, pay attention. Sometimes words will come into your mind, a statement that you did not think up on your own. You may not hear an audible voice with your ears, but you will hear it in your mind. You can recognize this as not coming from your own brain because the statement will be worded in a different way than you normally would when thinking to yourself. When this happens, listen. Such statements coming from Yah will never tell you to do something you know to be wrong, so you can trust what is said. Another way Yahweh guides is by giving a feeling of peace when contemplating a particular course of action, and a feeling of unease when considering a wrong choice. This is one of the ways Yah directs his children. Don't just sit there, get up and walk. Whether it's through a voice in your mind, a particular Bible verse, or the words of others, after being impressed that you have received your answer, act on what you've been told. 
Yahweh has promised to lead you, but lead is an action verb. You cannot be led when you sit still, wring your hands, and complain that you just don't know what to do. You may not be able to see five steps ahead, but if you've been given enough direction to take the very next step, that is sufficient. You must take that next step. Yahweh will lead you as fast as you will follow, but you must move forward if you expect Him to continue to lead. If you feel you've not been getting answers, think back. Has He already given you directions that you did not obey? He can only lead as fast as you are willing to follow. Gather information You may not know how to obey the directions given, so gather information. As you gather information, you will clearly see what is the next step to take. Then make the best decision you know based on the information gathered and step forward. Trust Yahweh to guide you by opening and closing doors. Don't be upset if a door slams shut in your face. Closed doors are answers just as much as open ones. Yah knows the future. You don't. Thank Him for saving you from unseen dangers. Do not waste time trying to pry open a closed door. Yah shut it for a reason. Trust Him, gather more information, and step forward in another direction. Be grateful. Scripture admonishes, Pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of Yah in Christ Yahushua concerning you. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 17-18, to King James Version. This is an extremely important principle. Always express gratitude in every situation. A grateful mind sees many available opportunities, whereas a negative, complaining spirit sees only the disappointment of unrealized expectations. The days ahead will be filled with unprecedented dangers. Living through them is going to require knowing for a surety Yah's will for you individually. Yahweh is not reluctant to communicate with us. Rather, too often people have been impressed with what they are to do, but they simply do not want to obey. If you want to be led by Yahweh, you must stand up and follow His leading. If you do this, He will see you safely through.